Hey, it's Wolfie Chan, and I'm back with another review of Sakura, Card Capture Sakura, the Clear Card. And this episode is Episode 8, Sakura, the Clock, and the Hide and Seek game. Uh, there's a lot of, like, tag and games in this. It's kind of strange, but I guess kind of interesting. Um, so this one, we are going to Akio's house. We are going to meet the person that she fell for and is in love with. And we get to just see everything. Uh, so, Tomio is also coming with us. <laughs> On this wonderful journey, is coming with Sakura. And they decide to, um... In the very beginning, it's Sakura, and she's walking, talking, like, Oh, the house was also Ariel's, and oh, that's so cool, can we come visit? Uh... Now I can't remember his name. Shaoran. There you go. Took me a minute. Sha and Sakura asked Shaoran, Hey, do you want to come with us? Shaoran's like, No, I'm kind of busy. We find out by the episode what he's really busy about. Mm. Uh, so we get to go to Akio's house. When we first like enter and stuff like that, it's the same like as Ariel's. You know, she gets buzzed in, she walks in. Um, Akio opens the door, and there is her butler. Ooh, very nice one. Almost one hell of a butler. <laughs> Bad jokes all around. So, uh, we do get a glimpse of this weird kind of sun thing on his watch. Which is very reminiscent of this sorcerer or other card captor that Sakura's been kind of seeing. She's also passed out and seen this person again. Uh, the clock is ticking. The gears are moving and things are going along. I don't exactly know why or how, but it's happening. Um, so, and she keeps asking the same questions of who are you, what do you want? And is getting nothing. At this point, I just feel like, wrap it up. I'm kind of done with this today. I keep seeing you, things keep moving, things keep ticking, I'm done. And you don't answer, so... Um, but we get a glimpse into that, what happened after the fact. This time she legitimately fell and fell asleep. So this is kind of one that I, I was wondering about. Like, what happens if she gets into this and is in reality still or still awake? She does, if it's too long, does collapse. So that is kind of a big issue there. Like, she can't control these. So these are not good. Whatever's happening to her is not good. Not to her Sakura. Um, the jump back into Akio's house. Um, they brought tea, so they're having tea and sitting down. All um, all of a sudden, too, like he kind of walks out and she kind of freezes a bit, like not in a good way. Um, and so it's a bit sad. Also. Um, if you watch where it's not like commercialized or anything like that, in the middle was a card with um, Mormont on it. So I'm thinking Mormont is very important. And the whole sun thing is also very important because that was also Clow's thing. Clow Reed who made the Clow cards. Mmm. Suspicious? I think not. I think, or I think so very much. <laughs> So, um, they go to this huge library that she has. It's like, oh my goodness. And then she has to go somewhere. Very strange. Um, and Sakura's like, there's a card in here. She's in, and Tomio's like, how do you know? I know. Best friend, I, I know. I know. <laughs> so they find the card, and it's basically like, there's something there, but it's invisible. It's gone. But it's still physically there. So, once again, not another fight, but Sakura pulls out the card, and this one is lucid. Like lucid dreaming. Weird. Coincidence? Oh! There's so many, like, weird things about it. Uh, because this lucid is that it's, it's, you can, you can't see it. So, like, the elusive Bigfoot. Um... Which is very weird, and it looks like a sheet. 
So once again, not a physical thing either. Like, not a being, but a thing. So, once again, really cool. Um, and she gets the card and all that stuff. Uh, and then she kind of takes it back, puts everything back, and Akio comes up. And Akio shows her this book that is very familiar looking. And it has a sun on it. And it has gears on it. Hmm. So, so, uh, she opens the book and it looks like gibberish. That is, from all evidence that I could think of, from uh, holic mangas and from all this stuff, this is Clow Reed's writing. Or something of those lines. It's from Clow Reed's original world. It must be. And it is very strange. Uh, we get also a pull away scene of it glowing. Cool. Thanks for more of the hints. Love them. <laughs> uh, we then, though, get a glimpse at Ariel, who's in England. And, of course, his kind of familiar is... The girl is basically like, we need to go back to England. Or we need to go back to Japan. We need to. They may need help. Coral may need help. And Spinny is like, we can't. And she asks, well, aren't you worried about Coral? Not in the same way that you're worried about the boys. Uh, Toya and Yukito. But Ariel goes, we can't go back. We have to wait and see. Which either means it's a force that is stronger than Clow, or it's a force that is on the same line as Clow Reed. Which means he wouldn't be able to do anything anyway. Really messed up, but really cool. And then we get a snapshot of Shaoran with his board and just glowing with stuff on it. I'm thinking he's trying to figure out more about the cards and more about like why he can't sense it. Why it's bugging him so much. And that's where the episode ends. So it's a lot of mystery. And I want to know it all. I want to know. It hurts me. It hurts my brain. It hurts everything that's my soul. But this is very interesting. And makes it me want to watch all the episodes. All of them. Not one sitting though. I'm a little tired. <laughs> so. If you like this video, definitely leave a like. Leave in the comment section below what are your thoughts on Card Capture Soccer, the clear, so clear card episode 8. Are you thinking it's a lot of, like, here's some threads, but not a lot that we can grasp on? Are you just thinking it's this is really cool as well? Tell me in the comment section below. And definitely don't forget to subscribe, that big red button. For more anime, manga, and all that good stuff. Believe it or not, I try my best to get them out Monday through Friday. Something new, something older, just something different. Um, and if you want to follow me on Twitter or Facebook, the links are down below. I hope that you've been having a very wonderful day. Wolfie Chan, out. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.